morning. Today we're going to do a final walkthrough. This is what happens at the day of close, which is everyone's favorite day. So basically you get to the house, you meet your customers here, and you start the final walkthrough of the house. So what really happens at the walkthrough, you get here, you look through the house, and you want to make sure that everything is here that was on your contract and that it's been cleaned out the way you need it to be cleaned out, that anything you wanted left is left, and you kind of really have to go through and make sure all the systems are functioning. Wintertime, heat, summertime, AC, to the best of your ability, that it is the way it was when you originally wrote the contract. Final walkthrough, Mike and Michelle very graciously agreed to let me videotape them today here in the house that they just bought. Mike and Michelle are customers, sold their house, they had a big plan, big plan changed, now we're buying another house. <laughs> and how long did it take us? About a year, I guess. No, yeah, yeah, a, little, yeah. a little wonder. A little Actually, wonder. Michelle said to me when we came in, can you believe this day is here? And I said yes, and she said, no, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> so what Mike and Michelle have been doing is going through the house, checking things, making sure everything works. Um, important things to make sure here are appliances. Upstairs in the kitchen, all the appliances were there. When we're downstairs here, we did agree to have this additional refrigerator left behind, so we needed to make sure that it was here. So appliances are really important. Next, we're gonna check the heat and make sure it works correctly. Obviously, it's cold. It's cold outside. I'm wearing a heavy coat. We're downstairs in the furnace. The furnace is functioning. We wanted to make sure that all the breakers are correct because when we do this, the electric gets switched over. Um, a lot of times, you need to make sure the breakers have been, the main panel has been shut down before they'll kick the electric back on. So things to consider are how all of your utilities are. Water tank is here, it's functioning. So going through the house and making sure that everything works is super important. Really important, you need to make sure that the house has been broom swept, cleaned out, or maybe in the contract you wrote that it had to be deep cleaned before the closing. Whatever the contract states is what you have to find here when you do your final walkthrough. Almost no closing, because there was no ID. <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> no one knows who I am. We have ID now. Next, what to expect at the closing. So now it's all about the paperwork. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna get all the paperwork taken care of to transfer the property. So right behind me, you'll see that they're actually in a room closing. This isn't the typical, you know, sometimes there's face-to-face -face closing, sometimes there's remote closings. This happens to be buyer, seller, the closing officer, and the real estate agents are all in the closing together. And we're actually going through the paperwork that's necessary to transfer this house from the seller to the buyer. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. Mm. Have a nice holiday. Listen, send me a couple pictures oh, when it's all. You know it. You know, you know it. Pictures. I will, Lou, as, <laughs> they, as they progress. And go and look at the videos. Yes. I, oh, all right, I she already did. Car. I started in the car. Here you go, sweetheart. That's a wrap on closing day. Um, everyone left very happy, and I got a gift from the closing agent, which was wonderful. And of course, it's alcohol, because some of these days are really rough. To do this job, you need alcohol. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Now I feel really good. You have to have me again. Sorry. That I could send you. Totally. Yeah.